Hello everyone! I'm back! <laughs> well, I got back on Monday night, but jet lag is a real beast and I haven't had to deal with it before, so I've been sleeping a lot. But anyway, Canada was amazing. I was really concerned at first when we landed in Calgary and everything was flat and green and I just felt like I was home. But as we approached Canmore, we started seeing all the mountains coming through. And after 22 hours of traveling, we finally got to our hotel in Lake Louise. And my God, it is one of the most breathtaking places I've ever seen. The water was so blue and clear and it was like a fairy tale. I didn't, I think because we had been traveling for so long and I've been sleeping on and off, like on the plane and on the buses and it just felt like a dream. But <laughs> um, we got a good night's sleep and the, well, not the next day, but on Wednesday, Drum roll, please. We got married. <laughs> yep, on Wednesday the 14th of August, I had the privilege of getting married to my best friend. It was just the both of us out there on Lake Louise. Even our families didn't know we were getting married, but it was a ton of fun. And after the ceremony, we spent two hours walking along Lake Louise, just taking pictures. And I'll show you one here, but don't get too excited because it's not really a reveal. So, bam. Doesn't that look amazing? <laughs> the pictures I've taken of Lake Louise don't do it any justice, but the photographer's pictures are incredible. After the wedding, we had a cute little picnic with some champagne, and then the next day, we were off to the ice fields. We went on one of the massive ice explorer trucks, which apparently there are only 24 of in the world, and we walked around the glacier for a bit and even drank the water straight from the ice. It was super cold, it was super fresh, and it was super awesome. We also went to the Skywalk after, which has a transparent glass floor, and I thought it was amazing, but DK was a little bit more skeptical. <laughs> we then spent the rest of our time in Banff, which was mostly just relaxing. And since we don't have any here, I got some David's tea and some really comfy root stuff, which I'm currently wearing and loving. Oh, and I also had Fruit Loops for the first time ever. It's just a pure sugar cereal. Um, it tasted kind of strange, but okay. And we also had chilies which wasn't amazing to be honest. But again, we thought we'd try it. We had lots of maple stuff as well. But yeah, we started traveling again on Sunday and we were sitting next to this guy who was freaking me out on the plane. We hit a bit of turbulence about halfway through. Now, I am not afraid of flying at all. I'm not afraid of heights. I'm not afraid of turbulence. I'm the type of person who would watch aircraft investigations on a plane is what I'm saying. But this guy looked to be in his mid to late 40s and every time we would hit a little bump of turbulence, he would take his phone out and start recording himself. I don't know if it was like his last will and testament or something, but just watching him was freaking me out. And then at one point we hit a bigger bit of turbulence where the plane dropped slightly that you get that weird feeling in your stomach. You know, like if you're in a car and you go over like a big hill, your stomach dips. I don't know if I'm explaining that well enough, but that happened. And whenever that happened, this guy braced for impact at 36,000 feet. He was completely freaking me out. But eventually the skies cleared, we landed in Dublin, and then we made the long way home. I finally got reunited with my little furball, who was actually quite huffy with me for a bit, but he's fine now. And then I just slept. A lot. <laughs> but I'm feeling better, I'm getting back into my own time zone, and I'm ready to make videos again. I've missed you a lot. And I hope you missed me a little bit too. So, that's a quick update. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments. I, I don't even know what to say, like apart from the mountains, the views, everything was absolutely beautiful. And there's a lot of like pickup trucks in Canada, or uh, just in the place that I was at maybe. But the other thing that I noticed as well is that the place is exceptionally clean, but there aren't a lot of bins around. I don't know if that's a weird observation, but anyway. But if you have any questions about where we went, what we seen, what we did, please comment down below and I'll do my best to answer. I'm so happy to be back. So, new videos coming soon. Bye!